Michael Faraday was born on the 21st of September 1791. He was born in the small village of Newington Butts, which was then part of Surrey, but is now part of London. His father was a blacksmith and his family was quite poor, so Faraday only received basic education, which ended when he was 14 to become an apprentice bookbinder. His lucky break into the scientific world happened when he made notes on a lecture by Sir Humphrey Davy. When Davy saw these notes, he was so impressed that he appointed Faraday as his scientific assistant. Davy later went on to say that Faraday was his greatest scientific discovery. Faraday's great contribution to science was electromagnetic induction, which is perfectly demonstrated in this experiment. As you can see, this copper pipe is not magnetic, however when the magnet is dropped down the pipe, it falls much slower than expected. As said before, the pipe is copper, so it cannot be a magnetic field slowing it down. So what is slowing the magnet's fall? The answer is electromagnetic induction. For comparison, here is a non-magnetic piece of steel being dropped down the tube. In order to understand electromagnetic induction, we must first understand fields. Fields are one of the most abstract concepts in physics, but Faraday visualized these fields as a series of lines. You will have seen these lines if you have sprinkled iron filings near a magnet. This is a magnetic field. An electric field is simply these lines of attraction between two oppositely charged particles, because objects attract if their charge is opposite. This experiment works because as the magnet falls, it creates a moving magnetic field. When this moving magnetic field comes into close proximity of an electrical conductor, small electric currents are generated. These are called eddy currents. Some of these are anticlockwise, some clockwise. The anticlockwise currents induce an opposite magnetic field pushing the magnet up, which slows its fall. This means that dropping the magnet inside the pipe generates a small amount of electricity, turning the pipe into an electromagnet. Using this principle, Faraday created the Faraday disk generator that produced a small direct current voltage. It was, however, insufficient due to the regions of the disk that were not influenced by the magnet. The dynamo was the first generator capable of delivering power for industry, and it used the principle of electromagnetic induction to turn kinetic energy from the rotation into direct current electricity. The dynamo was developed upon and became the basis of modern electric generators. This is a modern steam turbine that uses the principle of electromagnetic induction. In short, Faraday's discovery of electromagnetic induction allows electricity to be generated on a large scale, supplying our huge demand.